Okay, go up to Mug Fossil University if you hadn't seen the, the ether particles photoed and updated and ether finally photoed and polarized ether and the tether incident and all kinds of stuff up here about this. So there's a lot of information for you to come up and see. So God bless you all. Come up, check it out. Mud Fossil University, the Citadel of Truth. And uh, we will see you there. Roger once again, Mud Fossil University with a quick update. I won't bore you too much today, but this one here is a quick update on light. Now, uh, this is the accelerated light, and that is the acceleration point, and that is the atomized, highly accelerated white particulated light. Now, that is what we're looking at right here is a jet plane, and it is breaking the sound barrier. And when it does that, what it is really doing is, is it, it, there's a point at which the actual molecules bumping into each other can no longer maintain the, their integrity because they're going so fast. And when they do, at a certain point, they force electrons away. And that's breaking the sound barrier. That's when the electrons are pushed forward into a magnetic field. And that is what you're seeing here is the magnetic field. And as they get faster and faster, they get crisper and crisper. And then you can see the actual particles being, being um, polarized. But, you, I mean, you have to be on the microscopic level. And I have that. I have those shots, and I'll show you that. If you could see, this is what that would look like. That is all these little dots are the the electrons really that are in the um, they're polarized ether particles which are nothing more than light this is extremely obviously enlarged and these are the the discs that are coming out of the accelerator that we accelerated them and when they come out they come, the little rays come out and at the head of them they make these little discs that have all of the polarized ether particles because there's nothing more than creating a magnetic field around that particle as it goes so fast through space and the first breaking of this field is when they the the jet went through a certain speed and at, at that point it can no longer push the electrons I mean the the molecules forward to make sound it cracks through them and it throws out electrons and that's what creates that field that's shown and the shock wave from the aircraft there is similar to this it's coming up through here now this is through glass I believe I'm not hundred percent sure of this because Rodney did the pictures on these and um, I believe this is through glass and it shows the ether being interrupted and and creating that magnetic field but it's 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 being distorted because of the glass now, I'll show you how they look in a normal uh, non-glass environment but the thing I want you to pick up from this is that the particle is appears to be somehow being restricted within the glass and it um, it's making this like almost like pushing its way through and creating a circular tunnel through the glass. That's my take on this. I could be wrong. In air, these are the same sort of discs, but they're in air and um, there is something there's a difference the, the way I see these things coming through the glass versus the air and I believe these are the trails of the particles and on the tips of the, the particles they make these patterns and all of the little dots are the polarized ether that's on the end so the takeaway from here is that sound is just vibration of actual molecules once you hit a certain place where those molecules are banging into each other so hard that they they can't push that push forward anymore it it drives off electrons when it drives off the electrons that are in their orbits that's when you get the polar fields